Welcome back to Flamingo Beach, a tropical jewel on the northern Pacific coast of Costa Rica. A place where a mix of over 25 nationalities come together, weaving strong friendships into the fabric of this remarkable community. In last week's episode, we fished aboard the Plautus, a 42-foot Game Fisher Express, with James and Sean Harless of Billfish Safaris, Captain Luis Ruiz at the helm, along with first mate David Tijereno and second mate Pita Moraga handling the action in the cockpit. The water was a bit bumpy and the wind fairly stiff, but the fish didn't seem to mind. While they were not one of our target species, sailfish decided to pay us a visit. And who were we to pass up the chance to introduce ourselves to the local population? Our real goal? To get multiple IGFA world record holder Sean Harless a shot or two at some new records for the books. Sean landed plenty of Jack Reval and Roosterfish early on that came close. And we even took some time away from fishing to save a few friends from the unforgiving hooks of illegally set long lines. One of Sean's roosterfish measured out to be what we thought was a new world record. And with smiles all around, we headed back into Flamingo to get an official weight. Fishing legend Captain Bob James helped us out at the scales. But it wasn't to be, as it fell short of Sean's current record by just a few pounds. Still, we had the right gear, the right boat, and we were certainly in the right place. The bountiful waters of Flamingo, Costa Rica. So our pursuit goes on. Let's pick up the action where we last left off. Yeah, we're just coming off that point. Um, I had a dead, a dead black skip that actually had a live one on the downrigger. And uh, we just got bit off on a sailfish. And uh, we didn't go another 50 feet. Threw back a lot of dead skip bait. I saw a big black boil come up on it. Wasn't sure if it was the, uh, a sailfish or a, another big rooster. And she immediately got bit on that live bait. She's getting, she's getting the tug of war going here. And uh, again, we came, uh, we came pretty close to a world record yesterday. On the, uh, on the 130 rooster, and uh, that's really what we're targeting here today. So the only thing is, our limiting factor has been our bait. We're having to basically go back into the bay, make live bait, put them in the tubes, come back out. out here on the reef today, we 
might rewrite a few records then. What do you think, Sean? Want to fix the 30 pound on this thing? Yeah. 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 Okay. It might be a little longer, but... I thought that was a big reason. <laughs> that thing full on you like a 50 pound fish. <laughs> Watch out, that means I gotta move. Get out of my way. <laughs> Clear the rail. John's gonna through. I cannot muscle them up. Welcome back to day three on IGFA Angler's Digest. We're back in Jurassic Park, which has been the fish market for us here the last few days. We haven't even been in the water five minutes. Sean's hooked up on the downrigger bait. Looks like a pretty hefty fish. It's pulling hard. But so is she. <laughs> Little drag. Yeah. As she waddles across the net. <laughs> That's the it. Duck walk. Yeah, the boys, Captain Louis spent up to about 11 o'clock last night making bait. We've got a beautiful tank of baits, blue runners, and uh, some look downs, um, which, as Jamie says, is the candy bait for these roosters. Take long. Repositioning with Sean. She's got her knees bent. Her back and butt back. Using the leverage of that harness. It's a beautiful braid system she's got going here. Even in this rough weather, she can put maximum amount of pressure with that rod minimal amount of fatigue for the body. Oh, it saves your back. It sure does. Whoa, that might be it. So we're looking for a 70, about a 65 to 70 pound rooster fish on the 130 for a world record here today. It's pulling like a rooster, isn't it? I'm good. I'm so bit. You're so bit? Oh, oh, oh. having to adjust my drag so it doesn't pull me over because it's pulling so hard. It's a big jack. You just might have what they call an Almaco jack, very, very close relative to the amber jack. In fact, many people uh, mis-ID that fish. They get some large Almacos here, a very, very powerful adversary, typically associated with reef environment. Hey, Bill, you got the 130 record and it's 56 pounds. If this is better than 56 pounds, it can be a one. Okay, there you go. I love that sound. <laughs> that is so cool. There he is. I saw color. Forty pounder here. What a fish. 